This is question number 14 on the higher calculator paper from November 2013. Now this question is worth seven marks altogether. It has parts A, B and C. A is one mark, B is two, uh, four marks and C is two marks. It is a really straightforward question. However, there are many points in this question that you could slip up. Now let's take our time, read the question and make sure we can get all the marks in it. So part, let's start from the beginning. The table shows the information about the temperature T degrees Celsius at noon in town for 50 days. And here is the table. The question says, write down the modal class. Now I'm just going to tell you what the modal class is. I'll write it down, but you should know that the modal class is the one with the biggest frequency. Yep, it's the biggest frequency. So you look through the frequencies. This one here has the biggest frequency. And don't write down. It's the group that we have to write down. And you write exactly that down. So 20 is less than T is less than or equal to 24. And that is the modal class. It's the class with the biggest frequency. Part B says calculate an estimate of or for the mean. So calculate an estimate for the mean. This is a pretty standard question from a frequency table. And you should be quite familiar with what you need to do at this stage. The first thing is go back to the first line of the question. The table gives information about the temperature T degrees Celsius at noon for 50 days. So all of these frequencies should add up to 50. You could check it, but the question has told you they add up to 50. Um, 6, 14, 27, 48, 48 plus 2 is 50. So they add up to 50. I need to then add two more columns to this. And the columns that I'm going to add on are midpoint and midpoint times frequency. So I need to find the midpoints of each of the groups. Find the frequency and times them by the frequency. So let's do the midpoint first. The halfway point between these two, 8 and 12, is going to be 10. So the midpoint is 10. If you didn't know, you could add both numbers. So add them first and then divide by 2. 8 plus 12 is 20. 20 divided by 2 is 10. 12 plus 16 is 28. 28 divided by 2 is 14. 16 plus 20 is 36. 36 divided by 2 is 18. 20 plus 24 is 44. 44 divided by 2 is 22. And finally, 24 plus 28 is 52. 52 divided by 2 is 26. So that's it. Those are the midpoints. I'm going to do midpoint times frequency. I'm going to times each of these. And I could use my calculator for that. The first one, pretty straightforward. 6 times 10 is 60. But I'm going to use my calculator for the rest. 8 times 14. Make sure I've typed it in correctly. And that's 112. So that's be 112. And then the next one is 13 times 18 is equal to 234. 2 three, four. The next one, 21 times 22, and that's going to be 462. And finally, 2 times 26, I know that's going to be 52. And now I need to add those values. Add them up, 60 plus 112 plus 234 plus 462 plus 52 is equal to 920. 920. Now, 920 is what they all add up to. And at this stage, I would, if I was in an exam, 
go through all the calculations, the timesing and the adding up that I've done so far. This question is so straightforward, I want to make sure that I do get full marks and complete marks in it. I know for a fact that I've done this correct so far. So to work out an estimate of the mean, so that's going to be equal to 920 divided by 50. If I do that on my calculator, 920 divided by 50, and the 50 comes from the total frequency here. That's going to give me 18.4, and that's what I will put in my answer space for that part of the question, 18.4. Eighteen point four. Now this is a pretty straightforward question. You should be getting full marks in this so far. And so far, out of the seven available, we've got five. And we should be pretty content with that. Um, I need to go on to part C, which is on another page. Let's have a look at it. Part C says, draw a frequency polygon for the information in the table. So draw a frequency polygon for the information in the table. You need to remember that for a frequency polygon, it's the midpoint against the frequency that you plot. The midpoints against the frequency that you need to plot. So I'm going to look. I'm going to bring back my previous table. And here I've got the midpoints. 10, 14, 18, 22, and 26, which I worked out for the estimated mean. And if it wasn't there, if I didn't have to do that, I'd actually have to work it out from these groups. 10, 14, 18, 22, and 26 are going to be plotted against the frequency. So the first point I'm going to plot is I'm going to go 10 across and then up to 6 on the frequency. I need to have a look at the scales, though. Looking at the scales, every two squares on this scale stands for 1, and this one here, it's, I have the values 10, 14, so I actually don't need to read off anything. The numbers are there. So let's just have a look at this. If, I could, if I'll bring this on from time to time, I need to go 10, 6, so using a pencil, 10 across, 6 up, so that's 5, and then 2 squares up takes me to 6. The next point is 14, 8. So from 14, I'm going to go up to 5, 6, 7, 8 is there. The next point is 18. This is midpoint, and the frequency is 13. So 18, and then I go up to 10, 11, 12, 13. Then I go up to midpoint 22, frequency 21. The midpoint is 22, and the frequency is 20, and then 1. And finally, midpoint 26, frequency is 2. The midpoint is 26, and 1, 2. It is really, really important that you get the scale right you understand that you're using every two squares is one unit as you're going around and you plot the points accurately using the midpoints if you didn't use the midpoints you will get none of the marks for this the final thing is for frequency polygon it is straight lines that you use to join the sets of values so use straight lines to join these as you're going along And there you have it. Okay, so that is your frequency polygon for this part of the question. And there's seven marks up for grabs in this whole question. This question takes a bit longer than normal, but it's just that you need to check and recheck. And it is a pretty straightforward question that can gain you a lot of marks. So take your time, make sure you could do it, and get all the marks in it.